Fishing Swordfish 400 kg Swordfish commonly reach 3 meters in length, and the maximum reported is 4.55 meters in length and 650 kg. Females are larger than males, they reach maturity at 4 to 5 years of age and the maximum age is believed to be at least 9 years. Swordfish are ectothermic animals, however, they have special organs next to their eyes to heat their eyes and brains. The heating of the eyes greatly improves their vision, and consequently improves their ability to catch prey. The popular belief of the sword being used as a spear is misleading. Their nose is more likely used to slash at its prey to injure the prey animal, to make for an easier catch. Mainly, the swordfish relies on its great speed and agility in the water to catch its prey. Various ways are used to fish for swordfish, but the most common method is deep drop fishing, since swordfish spend most daylight hours very deep, in the deep scattering layer. Swordfish come to the surface at night and prefer deeper waters during daytime. The boat is allowed to drift to present a more natural bait. Sword fishing requires strong fishing rods and reels, as swordfish can become quite large, and it is not uncommon to use 2.5 kilograms or more of weight to get the baits deep enough during the day, up to 460 meters is common. Standard baits are whole mackerel, herring, mullet, bonito, or squid. Imitation squids and other imitation fish lures can also be used, and specialized lures made specifically for sword fishing often have battery-powered or glow lights. Even baits are typically presented using glow sticks or specialized deepwater-proof battery-operated lights. Swordfish are vigorous, powerful fighters, once they're hooked up deep down below, they can all of a sudden jump out of the water and immediately go back to the abbeys. One of the constant debates amongst experienced anglers is proper reel drag settings when catching swordfish. A popular mindset is that swords have soft mouths and require lighter drag settings than what you might use on marlin or big tunas. Others, like myself, have taken the stance that you either have a good hook set or you don't, and that using light drag settings may lead to weak penetration and actually cause a lost fish. Swordfish are classified as oily fish. Many sources warn about potential toxicity from high levels of methylmercury in swordfish. The FDA recommends that young children, pregnant women, and women of childbearing age not eat swordfish. It took half a day and we caught this giant swordfish. Sea urchin catching. A 
About 950 species of sea urchin live on the seabed of every ocean and inhabit every depth zone from the intertidal seashore down to 5,000 meters. The spherical, hard shells of sea urchins are round and covered in spines. Most urchin spines range in length from 3 to 10 centimeters. Sea urchins move slowly, crawling with tube feet, and also propel themselves with their spines. Although algae are the primary diet, sea urchins also eat slow-moving, sessile, animals. Predators that eat sea urchins include a wide variety of fish, starfish, crabs, marine mammals, and humans. Sea urchins move by walking, using their many flexible tube feet in a way similar to that of starfish. Regular sea urchins do not have any favorite walking direction. The tube feet protrude through pairs of pores in the test, and are operated by a water vascular system. This works through hydraulic pressure, allowing the sea urchin to pump water into and out of the tube feet. During locomotion, the tube feet are assisted by the spines which can be used for pushing the body along or to lift the test off the substrate. Movement is generally related to feeding, with the Red Sea urchin managing about 7.5 cm a day when there is ample food, and up to 50 cm a day where there is not. An inverted sea urchin can right itself by progressively attaching and detaching its tube feet and manipulating its spines to roll its body upright. Red sea urchins were originally thought to live 7 to 10 years but recent studies have shown that they can live for more than 100 years. Canadian red urchins have been found to be around 200 years old. Sea urchins feed mainly on algae, so they are primarily herbivores, but can feed on sea cucumbers and a wide range of invertebrates, such as mussels, polychaetes, sponges, brittle stars, and crinoids, making them omnivores, consumers at a range of trophic levels. Sea urchins are fast becoming a pest in many areas. You could help by removing them and eating them, especially from urchin barrens where the population growth of sea urchins has gone unchecked, causing destructive grazing of kelp forests and other marine habitat. So, you can get out and catch some sea urchin, help to protect the marine environment, plus have a super fresh, healthy feed. Whether catching sea urchin with a single breath of air, or strapping on a tank and going scuba diving, it's a heap of fun. Many snorkelers, spearfishers and freedivers develop their skills and breath hold whilst catching sea urchin. There are many things that will make catching sea urchin easier but the number one thing would have to be being comfortable in the water, and that means being warm. A good two-piece 3mm or 5mm wetsuit with a hood is the ideal. Scuba divers tend to be in the water for longer and prefer a one or two piece 7 mm wetsuit plus a hood. You'll need a sturdy pair of gloves to protect your hands from scratches and pricks from the sea urchin spines. Some Kevlar coated gloves work well, as do ones with Dyneema palms. The main thing is for the gloves to provide protection and to provide grip. Ideally you need a glove that is not too thick.
The gonads of both male and female sea urchins, usually called sea urchin roe or corals, are culinary delicacies in many parts of the world, especially Japan. In Japan, its roe can retail for as much as $360 per kilogram. It is served raw as sashimi or in sushi, with soy sauce and wasabi. Japan imports large quantities from the United States, South Korea, and other producers. Japan consumes 50,000 tons annually, amounting to over 80% of global production.